Hello, Bill Shaka here. Welcome to another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Well, we were kind of philosophical yesterday, weren't we? <laughs> we were talking about where we place our power, our mental power, our energy, and hopefully what we're doing is looking at, at the present as a way of uh, expanding our awareness. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit more pragmatic today. I like to call today, there is no such thing as work-life balance. Now, uh, this is something that I have been doing research on for years as a derivative of stress management. And it's one of the biggest issues that I, I hear in modern in the modern world of individuals talking about the fact that they just have such a difficult time grasping the balance between work and home. And um, there is no such thing as work-life balance, work-home balance. There's no such thing. I would prefer to call it work-life integration. But you know, ladies and gentlemen, the next time you come out of the shower, I invite you to scan your body and see if there's a switch there. And the switch goes from work to home. Um, I'm pretty, pretty confident that you're not going to find one. The fact of the matter is, is that we don't have the ability to switch from home to work and to different aspects of our life. Uh, all we can do is mentally engage those different aspects. Look at if you have a bad day at work, you tend to come home miserable. If you have a bad morning before you hit work, you tend to hit work miserable. And the opposite of that is true also. What I am suggesting that you do here is not try to switch off work and switch on home, or switch off home and switch on work. What I'm suggesting that you do is act more like a fabric and you begin to integrate, preferably seam seamlessly integrating the notion of the fact that we are one continuous being and we need to be able to, to transcend work and home to do it simultaneously. The notion of work-life or work-home integration, I think, adds a level of mental discipline to what we are looking to accomplish. Now, if you're asking what are we looking to accomplish, the answer to that is very easy. We're looking to become happier individuals. Well, I've got news for you. If you can integrate work and life into a relative seamless transition, you're going to be happier. I normally don't make affirmative statements like that, but I can say from my own life that when I stop looking at work as kind of a, a, a discrete function and personal as kind of a discrete function and my mentality having to switch between them, that constant vacillation, when I found that they kind of meshed together, they melded together, transition, work-life transition, work-life integration, I found my level of happiness increasing. I bring this up to you as a suggestion. I bring this up to you as something to think about. I don't have a lot of actionable items except for the fact that if this is something that you would like to do, simply become aware of the different transitions that are occurring in your life and look at those transitions as just a seamless rollover. If that's the only action that I can give you, it's awareness, then consider trying it. Be aware of the fact that you are in a work situation or you are in a home situation and be aware of the fact that it's a constantly mutating, migrating role that you're in. It's a rolling average. Consider it. You never know what's going to happen. You might just become happier. Who knows? Bill Shaka thanking you for attending another edition of the 5 Minute Motivator. Looking forward to seeing you in the next. Bye-bye.